my cool cats, this is Pinkin's Nail Atelier coming to you from my atelier. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing demo of Enel Couture. I'm also going to tell you about a giveaway where you can win a giveaway box of over 150 bucks. We're using Enel Couture today, Mr. Max Estrada's company. Let's go ahead and get into it. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna go ahead. Sorry, you guys, I just had to jump in real quick. At the end of today's video, I will be give, um, telling you about the giveaway that I'll be doing. All you have to do is like and subscribe on my channel. Go over to Instagram, follow me on my page, and tag two friends. Comment on this video uh, in the description part. I'll explain it off into this video. But I really hope you enjoy today's unboxing. Let's get to it. We have the crystal clear acrylic, such a nice jar. And I got the, like, it's not the big one, but like the bigger one because um, it's clear. You need a lot of it to encapsulate with. So let me go ahead and grab all of these out so I can show them to you one by one. This is a, which one is this? I don't know. I'll have to look and see, but got some more. look how well packaged it is, guys. It's so freaking awesome. It just says the powders on it. Okay. And we've got some brush wipes. Definitely. And I bought like, I think, yeah, three boxes of them. Three or four boxes of them. I don't remember, but I really needed them, so, okay, here we go. We've got some more acrylic and more acrylic. <laughs> and I'm going to go through all of this with you guys. And this is, um, I think this is from the ice cream. Uh, or is this the 24 karat? I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I'll have to look at it. This is the lollipop color. And that looks like it's got some glitter in it as well. This is the... This one doesn't say. We'll have to look at them all and just see. Yes. Okay. So we've got five packs of brush wipes in here. Definitely, I needed those really bad. And some more. We got Kitty Pink. So that looks really pretty. Oh my goodness. It's got like pink little specks of glitter in it. We've got diamond white. I think this has glitter as well. I'm not too sure. Okay. So let's see what else we've got in here. I've got the Sailor Magic Acrylic Brush. And I think... I think, um, let me see what size this is, but I'm just going to go ahead. Let me zoom out a little bit because I am really close. Hold on one second. Can I zoom out? Nope, I don't think I can. Let me change a uh, filming aspect. Oh, guys. Okay, that's better. All right, so this is the acrylic brush. I wanted this one so bad because I was a huge fan of Sailor Moon when I was growing up. It was the actually the first anime I ever saw in my life. And I've been hooked ever since. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to have to clean this one out and prep it and get it ready to roll. I probably won't be using this one today just because i got to get it, you know, cleaned out and stuff. So, I'm not going to try to put that back on right away either. But look at this. How nice. And it's, like, actually heavy, guys. It's, you know, a little shit went on the back. But, oh, well. Anywho, and here's the second brush that I got. And this was the Petite Macaroon. Um, And I don't remember what size. But I got a pretty big size. So, this one has to be prepped too. 
So I have to get the residue out of that one. Pretty, pretty brushes though, definitely. And I'm not done buying brushes. I'm definitely gonna get some more. All right, and first up we have, this must be my matte gel top. I think I recognize the bottle already. Let me grab a pair of scissors and get into it. In fact, let me move this out of the way so we can kind of um, see what's going on here. Yay, it's my velvet mat. Oh, you guys, I'm so late to the email couture thing. Like, literally. Even when I, my, um, the name of my nail thing was Pink Kittens Hot Couture Nail. Um, I didn't know about email couture. And then, like, after I found it, I was like, hmm, maybe I better change my name. Because he might think Pink Kitten. And then, you know, like, you might think I'm trying to jack him. Or, I'm not jack him, but jock him. Sweat him, you know, and I was like, let me change it. So then I changed it to Pink Kitten's Nail Atelier. And if anybody else has Nail Atelier, I don't care because I'm not changing it. That's what I've been, and that's what I'm saying. And here is Enoch Couture's. Uh, what is this? Uh -oh. This actually doesn't look too good. This is rusted. Okay. Yeah, these are rusted, so. I might be sent documentation that it was open, but rusted so in fact hold on one second let me go see something all right guys and good as new i went ahead and just sanded it right off so that's mr pinchy the next thing we have here is oh my cuticle oils oh i've been waiting for these like I've never had any of this stuff before. Everybody else was has already had all of this. And I'm so late to the game. It's not even funny. But I'm so excited to finally be here and be part of the Pink Army. I love Max. He's awesome. I love his products. They're awesome. The only acrylic that would not lift on me is Max's. I literally had to pry it off. And the same thing with his press ones. They're the only ones that will not pop off on me. I don't know why. They just don't. Oop. Come on. Play nice. <laughs> Oop. Well, there went that one. <laughs> All right. Let me get that out. Okay. So, uh, this is my first time smelling this, you guys. Oh my god, it smells so good. Oh, I'm going to put some on right now. Oh my goodness. This stuff smells like heaven. Oh wow. Like straight up candy. I love it. I'm a candy fiend, so. I had to fix my fingernails. Don't pay attention to my pinkies, guys. They both broke off. <laughs> okay. We're going to swatch the acrylics, too, so um, just be ready for that. Did I just push another heart off? I did. I got to get some um, hard gel from him to put my rhinestones on with. Probably going to do that this week, so. Okay, next up out of the box was the Twiggy file. I ordered one of these, and um, I got, I think, two, yeah, two tip boxes. Um, this is to do the smile line when I'm doing um, the French, you know, nails. So, here's what the tip boxes look like, guys. And I was wondering if they were big enough for the XXLs, and they are. And if they're both broken, I'm really going to be heated about that. Not that they cost, it's just the principle of it, you know. Why do you send out broken shit? Okay, so this one's okay. Yeah, I would have been really heated if they were both frozen. But it's not that big of a deal. I still love his products. I'm still going to buy them. That's not that big of a deal. It's a tip box. It's like a $2 item. Big whoop, you know? Same thing with, like, the, um, the pinchers. Like, they're, they're okay now. I just 
needs a little sandpaper and got this one and they're good to go. And I'll sterilize them and everything. So here is the ice cream powder pigment is what I bought. I believe this is the ice cream powder one. Yeah. So I wanted to try some of his pigments and so I ordered those. I have a bunch of his cover powders though. So that's good. Okay. So here we go. I got some different tips. These are not the tips that I wanted. I don't think. I don't know. I have to look. This is the Long Sculptor Sculpture Square. Uh, I think I thought these were something else. Really, honestly. Yeah. This is not what I wanted. At all. I wanted the extra long. Okay. So, I guess I'll go ahead and keep these. I can do, make press on nails with them. But I think I ordered wrong. I don't think that's his mistake. I think I ordered wrong because I thought they were something else. Now, these I did order and I did want, and I'm so glad I got them because I had waited for so long to buy me some of these. The heart holes. I know they've been done so much, but I just still love them. I think they're so cute. So, if you guys have never seen them, I'll show you what one looks like. Let's, let me find a big one. So you can really see it. Okay, here's a size zero. They're not very long at all. They're very petite looking, like, kind of like Japanese, you know, nail style. So, I'll show you right here what they look like. Yeah. So, there's the heart hole punch. I don't know if you can see the little heart in it. It's so cute. And that's okay that they're not long because I'm I really buy these to make press-ons with is what I do. So that's actually kind of cool. Because I wear long, long, long nails, but a lot of my clientele does not. Um, you know, I have a lot of older ladies that just like, you know, medium to long length, and this is perfect. And it's cute on top of it because it's got the little heart hole in it. So here we go. And that is my little mini unboxing. Alright guys, so I am going to do a swatch and a demo oh, for these products, but that's going to be in part the two rich of this video. Charm. It's going to be called <laughs> Enel Couture Unbox oh, and Demo Part 2. You and um, but I am going to finish up this video by showing you how to clean out a brand new brush. And I think that's what I do now that I've got my tips on how to clean out a brush when you first get one. So um, that's what we're going to end on that note. And please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for checking out oh my, my channel and giving us so some love. Appreciate you guys. Be to good be to yourselves and be kind to yourselves. It. Be good and kind what? in the world as well. Because yes, we need to show others how they need to act in this crazy oh, world right here in 2021. Thank, Thank you so much. So Pink kitten loves you. Mwah. Bye bye. Something like this. That is so right down my alley. Or right up my alley, whatever. <laughs> oh my goodness. These are so cute, you guys. You should definitely check these out. If you like dangle charms, these are very, very cute. Very cute. Aww. They're all dangle charms. They're so cute. Look at the little wing. Oh. But how do you put them on? That's the only thing I don't get. Are you supposed to like? Mm -mm. I wonder if this broke off. Let's see. What is this? Huh. I'm not sure. I'll have to figure these out. But anywho. Oh, look how cute. <gasps> No freaking way. These are cupids, you guys, for Valentine's Day. What? I didn't even know that. I just bought them because I like dangle charms. Oh, that's too perfect. That is too perfect, you guys. Wow. This was a really nice um, 
unboxing. I'm so grateful to Anel Couture for having such cute stuff. But as you guys know, I am not affiliated with or sponsored by any company as of yet. Uh, I pay for everything out of pocket so that I can give you very honest reviews on all the products that I use. So if you see me using a product, it's probably really a good product because product is my thing. Like, even when I was doing, uh, when I was a makeup artist and doing skincare, which I'm still a makeup artist and skincare specialist, but I'm just focusing on nails now. This is what I want to do, so, um... Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and swatch these acrylics really quickly. And let me put that into my receipt file. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and swatch All right, guys, here and comes my tips and tricks on how to clean out a brand new brush. I hope you enjoy. And after that, you'll have to hit part two to catch the swatch part of this video. Or something, the sculpture square long. I, it's not that I don't like the shape. I'm not crazy about the length. I just feel like they're too short because I, I was getting these to wear on myself. And um, I thought these were like the extra, extra, extra long. And they're not. So, I'm going to have this one she has just so I can figure out which one I like the best. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and swatch with these. And I will be right back. Okay guys, so I'm going to clean the resin out of my brushes and um, I see a lot of people do it like this. What I like to do is take um, a fine tooth hair comb and I do like so with it and I just feel like it gets the glue out a lot faster than just doing it with your fingers. And I'll get the majority of it out that way and then I'll like soak it, I'll pour um, a little bit of monomer. And then I'll go ahead and do this. And so it's really good that I got the brush wipes because now I can use them to help clean up the brush. So I'm going to go ahead and open these so you can see them. And so this is what they look like. And so I'm actually going to grab a couple of them because I'm going to need a few of them. Okay, so I'm going to put these back. They don't stick to your brush. Like um, a lot of wipes will have like a fine particle um, or cotton will have like a fine particle and it will um, make little lint that will actually stick in your brush hairs. So I don't know if you knew that or not, but okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just keep wiping. Then soak, 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 soak. Okay, and just keep wiping. This and actually using your brush is the only way to really like break it in and get it ready to go. But at least now that I've worked most of the resin out, and I'll dip it a few more times and just make sure that it's really soaked up a good bit of monomer and then I'll squeeze it. And then I'll wipe, 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 wipe on the cut on the pad. And I wouldn't normally wipe and brush like that, but since I'm cleaning the glue out of it, um, that's why I'm wiping it like so. Um, these feel like really nice brushes. I'm not gonna lie, they do feel pretty nice. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and put the top on this Sailor Moon one, which is so pretty. And I'm going to get started on this one. So, again, with this one, I've already done this, but I take the comb and brush the resin out. And I still see flakes flying. But that's mainly because the only way to get it completely out is to soak it in the monomer. So, now that's what I'm going to do here. And I forgot what size brushes these are, to be honest with you. They're either going to be 14 or 16. I don't have anything. I mean, I have brushes that are smaller than that, but I don't buy that size anymore. The only size I buy now is like 14, 16, and 
higher than that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get some more brush wipes out. I already have some sitting here. I forgot. So let me set that here. I'll go in for another junk. And then I'm going to squeeze it out like I did the other one. And I'm going to wipe, 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 wipe. I don't like touching my monoma with my hands, but I'm out of gloves right now. So it is what it is. I'm, I'm going to wash my hands right now once I'm done with this. And then I'm going to dispose of this monomer because it's full of glue. Okay. So I'm going to throw my brush back. Thank you guys so much for joining me for part one of this video. Be sure and check out part two of my e-nail couture unbox and demo for the demo and swatch part. Um, after this, I'll be telling you about the giveaway. So that'll be coming up. I'll show you the rules, but basically you're just going to subscribe to me on this channel and like the video and then go over on Instagram, uh, like the post for this video and tag two friends. And here are the rules. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification button so you can know when I upload. Go over to Instagram and follow me. Also, comment on the post for this video and tag two friends. Only on Pink Kitten's Nail Atelier or Pink Kitten Nail Atelier. Both pages are mine. Posting more than once will not matter. Once is sufficient. You must also be good to yourself and remember to color your world cute, but also color it with kindness. Love you.